What is up everybody? Welcome back to Case Digital. My name is Zach and in today's video we are basically going to create an e-business card with Python. So what I mean by this? Well just like this that you see in your phone with all your friends, your family and all those contacts card with one simple you know click of an image or scan of an image we're gonna be able to create this digital contact card. As you can see as I'll bring my phone um, is you've got the name of the person which in this case is just Case Digital. You've got the phone number. This is all fake too by the way but you got the phone number, you got their email and a bunch of other different things that you can do is, so as soon as they uh, scan this, what you'll see is this will pop up and then people have the option to create a new contact, add to existing contact, or if they already have that contact in there, it'll update with your new information. So without further ado, let's hop right and start coding. All right, so like I mentioned, that click of the button is going to be clicking a business card or a QR code that looks something like this, right? Um, you can make it with colors, you can make it black and white, but we're gonna create this QR code that then creates the thing that will upload to our phone. To do that though, before you start any of these projects, I highly recommend uh, that you create a virtual environment Python. If you don't know that, I will link a video up in the description or I'll link a video in the description or in the comments below, or I'll just tag it up here in the corner. Um, somewhere there, you, there will be a video that talks about how you can create a virtual environment. Now, to do this project, you need essentially two packages. You need to install, so we're gonna say pip install, and then we're gonna say uh, QR code, or I think you need to do it this way, QR code and with pill, with the pill package. So what this does is this allows us to, oh, I need a code with an E, oops. Uh, so this will install uh, pill, uh, pillow, the pillow package, which does, is used for images. And then this will start the QR code. And this just allows our QR code to make pretty images uh, like you see right here, um, where you get like the colors and different stuff like that. Um, otherwise, it'll just create a generic black and white one, which is fine too, if you're going for a quick and dirty, right? So we get pip install that. And then we also need to pip. And then we also need to pip install uh, the V object class or uh, package. So this is going to allow us to create this stuff, the template essentially essentially for that um, digital contact card. All right, so with that installed, we can go ahead and we can go import um, QR code and then import the object. And just like that, we're ready to go. Um, in my case, uh, it didn't need to install anything because I already had this package set up. Uh, but now if I just simply run Python uh, eBiz card, you'll see that we're good to go. So let's now go ahead and start creating our contact card that will then later in the next step turn into a QR code. And then I'll show you the scanning and then what it pops up to be in this Stuff that you can you can do. All right, so before we hop in, hop in and create our contact card, I wanted to show you what this V card is, um, so you kind of know what we're talking about. So ideally, I just googled V card. This will kind of take you to kind of like the properties and everything that you can have. Um, so a V card, also known as a virtual contact file, is a file format that is used a lot of times for uh, for electronic business cards, like we're creating with our own. Um, they also do with like calendar stuff or um, basically a way to kind of create events that kind of, that are oftentimes used within like the iPhone or Android. But essentially, um, these are kind of like the code, the underlying v, uh, v card contact forms that you see. Like this kind of looks kind of ugly, very hard to read. Like it says begin, V card, it tells us its version. You got F name for like the full name, name for like uh, the first and last, or the last and then first name, uh, B day, gender. So if you scroll down though, this is the part that I really wanted to show. Depending on the version, which we can go with version four or we can go with version three. I think I've been using version three for the stuff that I've done. Um, so we might just stick with that and then show you what we can do. But if you scroll down, oftentimes when you use the Python package, all you need to do is pass it these objects and their information um, that would be associated with that so that we can then create our object. So like you can see right here, we want the, the formatted name string associated with the contact card. So like this would be like what it would show up on in that contact card. So that would be FN. So if if we kind of um, go with using some of these, this information here, we'll go use this to create our contact card. All right, so now that we know that kind of V card information, uh, we're just gonna go ahead and create our V card. So you can do that by going V card is equal to um, V object dot, and like you see here, there's I calendar V card. You could do I calendar stuff, but we're gonna do V card. And that's our that's the basics of the object. Now we just get the fun job of filling it. Uh, so we go v card uh, dot add, and then this is basically the object name of the contents. Um, so this is going to be a string, and this is basically where we put in the information that we saw over here. So for example, we're going to put in if we scroll down here, or let's just search version um, version. All right, so that is wow. They have a lot of version information in here. All right, there it is. So version is as you can see is required for all different stuff like it needs to be in there so this is the tag that we would essentially add right in here and again it does need to be a string so we're just gonna put that just like that um, and now this could also it doesn't necessarily have to be uh, capitalized it can be 
be lowercase because I think under the hood, um, we could put this. Under the hood, I believe this will do everything or format it correctly that we would need. Now, we know we're gonna add version, but now we need to add the information, the value. Which version are we going to use? Well, during my research, this is what I found that we use. We go vcard dot version, because now this has been added, so there should be a version object. And then we say dot uh, value is equal to 3.0. That's what we put in. Now, I believe, and we'll test this, but I believe you can also do something like this, where you technically could do this dot value is equal to 3.0. So I don't know for sure, but we'll make that one of the things that we test at the end here. So we have our version. Now let's go ahead and let's go and we, we'll say we need to add, we'll say we need to add the name and then we'll say we need to add the telephone number or phone and then we'll say also email. Okay, we'll just do like have the basic three things that people probably have on their business card. So to do this, you can essentially do this ex same exact thing and then you just go look up for name. Now we know if looking up from talking, we're gonna do the full name. This is the thing that shows up on, this is the thing that shows up like under the person's, like the actual like how it's read out. So not just like their first and last, their whole name together, right? And in our case, we're just gonna say here, case digital, all right. And then we'll go ahead and do the exact same thing for the phone number, except for if we go over here and look up phone, you'll see that it comes actually under as tell. So we'll say tell. Now, one thing to note over here is you can see that it says type is equal to cell. Well, how do we get something like that? There's another, and we'll actually, let me double check here. Um, yeah, and you can also put it in can I go number string for a telephone number. Yeah, so I believe you can do stuff like this or dashes. So in our case, we'll just put like the generic Hollywood number that everyone sees on TV, where you do like country code or, or plus one for country code and then 555-555-5555. So there's that. Now, to do something where you'd see like sell or work or whatever, you're gonna say vcard.fn, or wow, I put this, oh, I messed all this up. So that's tell and this is fn. All right, there we go. So we we'll do fn dot, and then we do that or type type param and equal to, and then this is where you'd say like whatever you wanted to put. This could be home. I think the default one's home, um, but this could be like work or whatever you want. So that's you just put it in the tag that you want as a string. And then for email, if we go over here and see if there's an email one, go to the E's, um, you'll just put in the email that is needed. So it's just email is the value. So we can do this exact same thing. And a lot of times what I've seen when looking up how to do some of these contact cards, a lot of times people will put for like email, and I messed this up too. This has got to be tell there. There we go. And now for email, that's okay. So a lot of times what I see is this says internet. Um, I'm not 100% sure. I'll have to look more into that. But essentially, there is how we create our contact card. So we've, again, let's go over this. We've got our version, which is required. FN, everything else after that, I believe, is just optional. Um, but since you, you need your version information, so it goes correctly. FN, so there's our full name that we're going to use. And we have telephone number. Uh, and you can de designate that using this type param to be either work or uh, sell or home or office or store one, store two, or whatever, you know, whatever phone number is associated with that, that's kind of what you do there. And then we have our email. So with all that, we've now created the contact card. Now, you know, what do we do with that information, right? What do we do with the contact? Well, that's where we need to go ahead and create this. We need to go ahead and create our business, our, our QR code that all this data right here, all these squiggly lines that make up the QR code, all that data is going to be this information right here. So, and to get that, you need to actually save out. So we'll need to say like um, serialized V contact V card, which is going to be equal to V card dot uh, serialized, I believe. Yep. Now we can go print this out and we'll see what serialized contact card V contact card looks like. So if we go ahead and run this, reset, so it clears it and then run. So this is what we look like, right? So it says begin version. The This is all the information there. Oh, and we messed up our email. This is good that we check this because then we can say this could be test dot, uh, I don't know, test at gmail.com, at example.com. That's what everyone uses, right? So that way they don't spam someone's email. Uh, so uh, if we run this again, you'll see that this this is the serialized information that's gonna get compacted into our contact, or into our QR code, right? So there is our email, there is the full name, there is the telephone type, and then you can see that if we come back over here, that looks similar to this example, just like that. So without further ado, let's create the QR code that contains this information. All right, so creating the QR code, QR code part is actually pretty easy. So essentially all you gotta do is say QR is equal to QR code 
that Q, QR code. And then you can put more information into like more parameters into this constructor. But for what we need, you could probably get away with just doing this. And then from here, we just need to add the data, which is our serialized VR card to or V card to the QR code. So we're gonna say QR um, dot add data. And you're gonna add the serialized V card, which is basically um, gonna be this string information right here, right? So from there, once we have that added, now you just need, need to make the QR card or QR code. I don't know why I keep saying that. But so we're gonna say QR dot make. And then we're gonna add a parameter called fit just to make sure everything kind of fits there uh, correctly. And we're gonna say that's true. And then from here, you just need to make the image and save the image. And so to do that, you'll just do QR dot make image. And then here you get to do the fun stuff, which you can say like fill color is equal to, um, and then what well, you can either pass strings, but what I've noticed is if you pass like the RGB values, like uh, tuple values, so like uh, from between zero and 255. So if I say I want black, I can do this. But again, if you want like uh, that color, uh, that color is equal to, you could also do like for common colors, like white and black, you could do stuff like this. Um, so if we have the image and this will be image is equal to that. And the, so when I first made, uh, when we first did the pip install too, with the, with the QR and then we did the brackets and then PIL and it, this allows these different colors. So, um, like we just start off with, uh, like this will give us a white and black, a pure white and black one. So like you can see the original one is going to be red. Um, but if we do this, this will give us a white and black one. So then we just have to say image dot save and we give it the path to where we want to save it. So we'll just say this folder and do my biz card.png. So barring that we made no mistakes, you can run this and it should run and you'll just see our printed string. That means everything worked. Then we can check our biz card to see if it's a different color. And just like that, it's white and black. And again, if you wanted to change this to say, maybe we wanted to do this a tuple now, maybe we want this to be red. So we'll say R RGB, so red, blue, green values. So 255, zero, zero. This I mean, this would be pure red. We rerun this and we get something that looks like that. That's the back color uh, being red. But the nice thing is, is if I come in here and I pull out my phone again and we go to the camera, pull out the camera and I go ahead and I focus on the QR code. You'll see something pop up on your camera and you'll say case digital. I'll click that. And what that does is let me make this bigger. If I zoom this out so everyone can see, you'll see that. Just like that, we have our testexample.com, our case digital, uh, the name, we've got the work phone number and the the email phone number. If you remember from when I started this, it is actually a different email. And we they have, now this will create the card and they have to save it. So like when they scan it and click the thing that leads to the link, it'll create this card and it'll pop this up, but they still have to go in here and create new contact, add to existing content. Or if that contact's already in their phone, they can say update. So maybe you have new information, right? So that's what it'll do. Just to show um, that, pull this back down. Just to show that it's it's creating new cards, we'll go up here and change the name to John Smith, just for fun. Everything else will leave the same. We'll rerun this and I'll get biz card and then I'll hit cancel on this. So that cancels it. I'll pull up my camera again, come back to this QR code, hit it. And then just like that, now it says John Smith. And again, I'll pull this up, um, pull this up so everyone can see. And you'll see that it says John Smith, the work and the email are still the same. And in this case, I don't have a John Smith in my phone. And so uh, it will just try and add, you know, it'll just try and either create or add to an existing contact. So that is essentially how you make, let's cancel that over there on my phone. But that is essentially how you make a QR code that can basically create a digital business card. So I hope that you found this very helpful. If you did, uh, please um, leave a comment if you have any questions, leave a like if you enjoyed it. But there's also like, one thing I should point out is, is, is if you don't know much about QR codes, I do believe I have a video that you can go check them out. I'll leave a link up here. And until next time, keep on programming.